Good morning, Calvary, and welcome to your word for the day. My name is Pastor Mitch, and today we're going to be looking at Proverbs chapter 3, verses 21 through 26. A couple of weeks ago, I talked about the problems that we can face because of our own stupidity. But sometimes we have tough days because stupid move next door. And when stupid lives next door, we often suffer as a result of stupid consequences. Other times, we simply suffer as a fact of life. See, God, he gave us paradise, and Adam and Eve sinned, and they ruined that paradise. And we continue to sin today and ruin it even further. And as a result, the world we live in is not perfect. Proverbs uh, 3, verses 21 through 26 in the New Living Translation says this, My child, don't lose sight of common sense and discernment. Hang on to them, for they will, they will refresh your soul. They are like jewels on a necklace. They keep, keep you safe and on your way, and your feet will not stumble. You can go to bed without fear. You will lie down and sleep soundly. You need not be afraid of sudden disaster or the destruction that comes upon the wicked, for the Lord is your security. He will keep your foot from being caught in a trap. Let's listen to those words again. My child, don't lose sight of common sense and discernment. Hang on to them. He's saying don't lose sight of wisdom. For they, for it, will refresh your soul. They are like jewels on a necklace. They keep you safe and on your way, and your feet will not stumble. Here he's not saying that life will be perfect, but that you will be perfectly following God's will. And because of that, in the midst of your craziest day, you can go to bed without fear. In the middle of the storms of life, you can lay down and sleep soundly. And even if it seems like the entire world is against you, if God is on your side, then you need not be afraid of sudden disaster or the destruction that comes upon the wicked, for the Lord is your security. He will keep your foot from being caught in a trap. See, by following Jesus, we are not promised that everything will always be easy and that when you experience trials, because you will experience them, you don't have to respond with worry or anxiety or anger or sin. Instead, you can stay calm and relax and see how God wants to grow you through those trials. Reminds me of verse James chapter 1, verses 2 through 5. Uh, go ahead and find that in your Bibles. Highlight it, circle it, underline it. Uh, keep this verse with you at all times. It's a great reminder. It says, Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. And that perseverance finishes its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. And if any of you lacks wisdom, uh, you should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. So what might keep you from, from being able to grow from your trials? The Bible answers that question right away. It's a lack of wisdom. If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. So I'll leave you with this thought. Sometimes it, is really, it really is hard to know what our next step should be. And even as pastors, there are simply times when we just don't know what to do. But I do know this that when we are not sure what to do next, we can always ask God for wisdom. I want you to think about which area in your life that you need wisdom in. And right after today's video, take a moment and ask God for wisdom in that one specific area of your life, and then wait and see how God shows up. Thank you for tuning in to your word for the day. Like and share this video, and we will see you tomorrow.